Good morning, I'm Tim Archer, and we are reading through the New Testament. If you want to find the readings, you can go to timothyarcher.com. Today we're reading Ephesians 1, 15 through 2, 10. 1, 15 through 2, 10. Uh, in chapter 1, Paul lays out the reason, the, the motive for his writing, that he wants the Ephesians to have a better understanding of who they are and what they've received. Remember yesterday we talked about how they lived in a world who insisted that another reality was the, the true one. And so Paul wants the Christians to understand that they are not just another religious group among many, but they are God's special people. And then he talks in chapter two about how, you know, we were dead. We were lost. There was nothing that we could do about it. And that it was through God's grace that we were saved, not because we were smart enough to figure out how to do the right good works, but because God loved us enough to reach out to us. And so we weren't saved by works, but according to Paul, we were saved for works. We were saved to do good works, he says in Ephesians 2.10. That God formed us and shaped us like a, a craftsman working on you know, his masterpiece. And he did that so that we would do good works. That's what we're supposed to be about. And, and so I love this part. If you haven't read it, take some time. Read Ephesians 1.15 through 2.10. We're going to be praying. Father God, we want today to dedicate ourselves to those good works that you created us to do. Help us to remember who we are and what we are supposed to be about. May we glorify you today and every day. In the name of Jesus, amen. I hope you have a wonderful Friday.